Hey everybody, this is Jaden Sinclair. I've got more Faria for you today. Feel free to leave a comment with what you like or don't like about this video, and let me know about any other games you'd like to see me play. Thanks for watching! Alright, so... Uh, I don't like any of this to start. Well, I don't like those definitely. The wild growth could get me just a bunch of forests out quickly. Maybe I'll keep that. Yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, nothing I'm really looking for. That's unfortunate. Alright. Alright, got some fairy collection going on there. I'll start moving out in that direction to block him off eventually. I really need to draw some cheaper creatures. This yeah, I've heard about Duelist. That's another one that has uh, another collectible card game with a board, right? Or is that another one? I don't know. I know I, I heard a bunch about a bunch of different of the collectible cards. Oh, Wandering Monk early is really good. Well, I got my Everbloom Wisp. So I can drop the forest and get him down there. And buff him immediately just so that he's stronger. Not exactly where I wanted those to hit, but... Yeah, maybe I'll take a look at Duelist, see how it is. Um, I'm assuming you play it. Uh, which do you prefer, that or Faria? Are they too similar, or...? I know I've tried to get into, at least for the digital ones, Hearthstone, and I've just never... Okay, you controller gender, cool. I never really have gotten into Hearthstone. The progression of getting cards was always too slow for me. Um, I do play other stuff outside of that. Alright, I, oh, I do have this Voice of Truth, too. If that guy does get out of hand, I can deal with him. Uh, so, let's drop another forest up there and move you up. Next turn, if he moves that fish in there, I'm just going to, like, explore in forest. Just to get in his way, maybe. Um, yeah. yeah, maybe I'll take a look at Duelist then. We'll see. I would say that would probably be one where I'd want to play a little bit before streaming it, maybe, though, so I'm just not starting off with just very basic cards. We'll see. I don't know. How's the progression of getting cards in that one, as compared to, say, something like this? Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, it probably was a mistake. Uh, Alright, great. We got a wood elemental. That's good. Um, I could get a forest right up here this turn if I do this right, right? With the explorer. Yeah. So, let's hit that. I just want to get rid of it. We'll drop a forest there. Um, I want to put the explorer next. Then I'll drop the wood elemental there. And then uh, I think I put the Grove Guardian. No, because he's going to be a four. Well, he would die to it without buffs. And I'd be able to take that out as well. Yeah, I'm going to put the Grove Guardian up there. And put that threat right to his life right up there. Another thing uh, I might play eventually sometime is I'm going to try and figure out streaming of... I play the uh, Game of Thrones living card game, uh, the f actual card game thing, uh, and I know there's a website where you can play that online, so I might do some of that. I don't know if other people here enjoy physical board games and card games and such. I'm a big fan of them, so... And just having the Grove, Gar Grove Guardians facing off against each other. <laughs> um, I need a buff then for that guy. I could maybe... If I get lucky and draw my Elderwood Embrace, that would be nice to hit him with. Oh, and he's gonna mess stuff up there. Okay. 
That's okay, I'd love to grab that spot as a forest, but... Healing Song, not helpful right now. Okay. So... Let's see, how do we do this now? Uh, I could get him into that. Kind of want to move him up there, honestly. Yeah, so what I'm going to do... I have to worry about that wandering monk coming over and killing me, too. And he's got the archer. Alright, so... <laughs> I'm going to drop the forest there. Buff on him, and I'm going to pull him back, because I like to keep buffing him. Move that over there, keep him taunted, but also threaten this guy. Uh, the Grove Guardian. Do I Voice of Truth him now? He's going to take me out there. Yeah, I'm going to use the Voice of Truth on him, and I want to make sure I take him down this next turn. So he's going to be able to be able to take me out with the Archer there. I doubt he'll want to do that trade, but we'll see what he ends up doing. Moving him up, take out that, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Got an Oak Father possibility up there. Alright, so I kind of want to drop. Well, I'd like a forest. I'd like to gather that Feria, but I don't think that's the most important thing. Um, I also don't want to get into range of that archer. I think what I'll actually do. Oh, I'd need one more Feria to drop him. I was thinking I can get him into that spot and he'd be in a great thing. If I dropped a land there, a forest there, dash over. He'd be protected and I'd have the thing, but not going to work. So, I think I'll save up to grab that Oak Father soon. Get this spot for now. Buff on him. And you're just going to run in and hit him for one. We'll do the little bits of chip damage. So he's moving in position to be able to shoot that guy. Right. Getting a Colossus right down by me. Hmm. Oh, well. Just need to position that archer that way then. Alright, so. I'm tempted to drop the Oak Father up here. Not quite as worried about this guy right away. I need to, if I can keep getting forests, I can get this guy strong enough to be able to take that out. Um, so, what I think I'll do is I will keep getting forests. Uh, I want to limit the amount of ways he can come at me down here. So I'll drop that. Put the Oak Father up there. And be done. I'm kind of fine with him hitting me because I have the healing song in hand. And every time he hits me, he's going to buff up my Wild Avenger, so. Oh. That's not good. That hurts a lot. Alright. Um. Hmm. Definitely. 
Healing Song doesn't even get me enough to save against him, so I need to be dropping my Wild Avenger for the taunt now. I'm not going to have enough Faria to do everything I want to do. He's going to have enough attack to kill off the Wild Avenger if I just put it there. Come on, let's trigger Pandora. I need Pandora right now. Nope. Um, ah, so, I think I need to play the healing song and try and find a card that saves me, because right now, he's got enough even with that healing to kill me. There's not too much I can do. God Hunter is not what I was looking for. Um, is there any way out of this? 14. Wish I could take one more damage. That would be enough to, to save me now. Oh, it would have been. I would have needed it before I did that move. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. Alright, well. Oh, and now Pandora awakens. What would I have drawn anyways? Would it have saved me? Auto Lightning would not have saved me. <laughs> Alright. Well, as long as he's smart, which I assume he is. Yeah, here comes the kill. Alright. Well, once again, I always seem to end these Pandora practice runs 2 and 2. I don't know why, but it always seems to happen that way. So. Alright. 